Greetings from Worcester, Massachusetts. Zach Hample here at my second minor league baseball game this season. I was in Beloit, Wisconsin about a month ago. I'll link to that video in the description. And now I'm at Polar Park, which is the home of the Red Sox AAA team, the Woo Sox. And basically these guys invited me here to hang out and do it up for YouTube. So that's how that works. And excuse me, I'm talking here. I am really excited to get VIP treatment for a day, getting inside nice and early, field access, behind the scenes, maybe some other perks, including this free t-shirt and hat. So it's gonna be a great day. Let's get to it. All right, so by the time I got inside the stadium, batting practice was just getting started and the music was blasting. So even though there were not any other fans at this point, it was already a festive atmosphere. And just look at that berm. Behind the left field wall, you can see the view from the corner right here. Absolutely gorgeous stadium. I knew it was gonna be great. And this dude was up there blasting balls. Unfortunately, there's not a shot of me getting this one, but you can see that it is an official Major League Baseball, so that was pretty cool. And here's a shot of me actually catching one. So that felt great, and then you'll see right after, kind of misjudge the next one. Oh, that's a little short. Oh, running on flat ground. So fun is what I said right here. I gotta make sure that I talk over the music or else the YouTube bots won't be very happy. So the Syracuse Mets were here. Impressive hacky sack skills. I tried that as a kid and I absolutely sucked at it. But anyway, just you can see the cool setup, the flower bed out in left field, all the space to run around. And this guy was particularly nice and helpful. I'll get him in the video later on. But first, look at this. I saw a ball under this bench. Was it a baseball? Eh, not exactly. Hey, this is me. That is me. I mean, I can't argue with truth. Nor can I argue with grabbing baseballs in an empty stadium. So this home run right here, as you will see, lands on the berm just to the left of the batter's eye, then ricochets off those red Adirondack chairs. There were a few employees nearby, but I guess they didn't see it. Well, that is it for Wu Sox batting practice. They had some guys up there who could really hit, including Christian Koss. He's a shortstop, and that's the guy who hit the home run that I caught on the fly. Definitely a 400 foot plus bomb right there. So that was a whole lot of fun. And after batting practice, I happened to find a baseball under the chair where I plopped my backpack down. So that was pretty lucky. My fourth ball of the day, and I have all four of these balls right here if you can get a tight shot. They're all major league balls, so that's fun. But as I have mentioned in the past, I don't count balls from minor league stadiums in with my lifetime total, even if they are major league balls. So my lifetime number, 12,206, uh, will not change today. And I'll give these baseballs away to some kids later on. But yeah, this is just such a gorgeous park. The Syracuse Mets are out there warming up. They should be starting to hit soon. I think I wanna be here for their BP. I love all this space, this berm and the walkway. But uh, while there still is definitely maybe five, 10, 15 minutes, I do wanna wander over to right field if you can see that quasi green monster way off in the distance. Cause it does look cool. But again, I think this is the best place to run around and catch balls. Wait a second. Is this a baseball? Could it be? Oh, guys, look at this. This ball is just sitting here asking to be rescued. Look at that. Another major leaguer. Yeah, so peaceful right now with the music shut off. Where do I, straight up? Yes, sir. This place is like a base. <laughs> Well, would have 
been nice to catch it, but that wasn't my fault, baby. And also, I can see why he threw this ball to me. Look how cruddy this one is. I think I just did him a favor by asking for this one, so... That was uh, number six on the day. Yeah! That is my 10th baseball of the day. Uh, yeah, I got one tossed right at the edge of the bushes in front of the batter's eye on the left side. Uh, I guess that was number seven. And then those guys were trying to hit me fungos. I caught one on the fly. There was another one that kind of went wild that I grabbed. So three balls over there, that, that made it nine. And now this one. So the thing is you ducked behind that batter's eye and I couldn't see you. Wait, who couldn't see me? Could that be <gasps> the famous Worcester Willie? <laughs> Fenway Chris. What's up? We'll get him in the video in a bit. <laughs> okay. These guys are still trying to launch fungos. I don't know what's going on, but I got 10 balls and that's pretty cool. Minor league games are so much fun, especially when they let me inside early. So there is a baseball on the warning track right below this very tall right field wall. And I have gotten permission from a Woo Sox employee to try to get it with my cup trick. So I was just making sure that the string isn't tangled. This wall is what, 30 feet high, you said? I don't even know if I have enough string, but let's give this a shot. I think I can do it. I think it's gonna reach. I think I got this, you guys. Snugly in the cup. We got it nice and steady. That is how it's done. And yeah, another major league ball. So I get questions semi regularly from people who are like, I'm going to this stadium and is the cup trick allowed, the glove trick, and how much string should I have? And I mean, whatever the highest wall in your stadium is that you think you might want to try to get a ball from just add another five or 10 feet of string. I mean, I must have like 40 feet of string on this cup because I still had some to spare. So that's pretty cool. And yeah, number 11 on the day. What's up? I'm under right there. What's up? I can't get that up there. Come on, sure you can. Thank you. It is always so much fun to go behind the scenes and to get to see some extra stuff that I don't typically get to experience when I'm just a normal civilian inside a stadium. So I really appreciate that. And a huge thanks to the Woo Sox for making this happen. Right now, there's about 20 or 30 minutes until the next thing, which I'll explain in just a bit. So I'm chilling, 
with a very special friend. You heard his voice earlier, and now you get to see his face and his Yankees shirt at a Red Sox stadium. Yeah. What's up with that? that? It's the only, uh, only shirt I have clean. Yankee stuff. Anyway, uh, where you been? What you been up to? I got a real job over the winter, so, uh, you know. Is that right? Finally making some money. Yeah, doing what? Uh, all right, I'm, I'm not sure at Coors Field. <laughs> we miss you there. No, so, you know. This guy. Other TV gigs. Sold my house. I now live in Paris, France, so I'll see you in 2024. Guys, don't believe. And, um, it's also 2025. Don't believe a single thing that this man says. And I drink iced tea now. No more beer. Don't bring in the beer. That's actually true. Yeah, I don't drink beer anymore. But, uh, yeah, a lot of you guys have asked, where's Fenway Chris? Well, here he's here. We're doing stuff, but life takes us in different directions. We're all good. We cool, baby. We cool. We cool. So give him a follow. He's still doing his thing on Insta. You can see it here on the screen. Um, We're going on some road trips, right? We're doing Sydney in 2028. <laughs> you still up for that? Mike? <laughs> Ab absolutely. We'll get on over there, mate. <laughs> Thanks for flying Qantas. <laughs> anyway, in just a bit, after we're done being stupid here, I'm going to be throwing the ceremonial first pitch. Oh, yes, that's right. So get you, ready for that. You can get booed here. It's a real blue collar town. If you don't get it over the plate, well, you can that's hear true. some booze. Well, let's hope I don't bounce it. But doing that, and then there's a whole lot of food coming my way and some other fun things. So, yeah, that's the situation. For now. I can't wait. Six. Check it. Check it. You guys got to read this book. Enjoy. Now, did you know that I was going to be here? Or did you just happen to... Or I guess you brought the book, so you knew, right? You saw it on my Insta story? Follow me on Instagram. Don't just follow Fenway Chris. Also follow me at Zach underscore handle. I'm ready for it. Well, I gotta get my arm loose. But yeah, you gotta loosen up. This is how I'm gonna legit try to warm up. Thank We're just gonna, no one's good. behind me, just get the arm loose. Yikes. Get warmed up. Ball. Really? You trolling me? Ball. This is why I don't work with you. Bounce. <laughs> and by the way, this right here is Griffin. What's going on? Intern extraordinaire, stadium operations, marketing, and he's been hanging with me and showing me around. So thank you for everything. We got to get George in the video yes. at some point. Yes, we definitely do. But it's been a great time. I've had a great day out in the berm for BP. It's been a great day, and the game hasn't even started. Oh, I know. So and what's the count up? Twelve wells. Oh, 12 balls today. I thought you meant lifetime, but oh, 12,000 plus lifetime and 12 today so far. So, Zach, I need you right here. Okay. Sir, yes, sir. So, you throw the pitch. Catcher will come out, give you a shaky dip, shaky dip. Zach, I have this hat for you. It says first pitch on the side. Woohoo! Look at this. All right. Concessions stand. Wrap to here. Is this for the video? Thank you. All right, you got it. It's coming up. So go with that. Go with that. Hey, try to watch out for the line. And so it's official. There was no booing of me on the ceremonial first pitch because I threw a strike, thank you very much. And afterwards, a whole bunch of fans came and found me, so it was cool hanging with them. And it was especially cool to see this guy. That is Dennis Oil Can Boyd, a former Red Sox pitcher. He was on the 1986 Red Sox. 
who played in the World Series against the Mets. I was a Mets fan growing up, so yeah, just to see him in person after all these years was particularly special. He's a really fun and snazzy individual. And this guy that I'm shaking hands with, that's Charles Steinberg, who is the president of the Woo Sox. This is his stepson, Joe, with me. And man, I could talk about Mr. Steinberg for an hour. He has had the most incredible baseball career. As you can see, it was game time. So the Woo Sox were taking the field. And look at this, that's Luke Voigt on the right. He's got 95 home runs in the big leagues. Lots of big names in AAA. And speaking of home runs, well, this one just went foul. And you can see how the game and everything else played out from here. been wandering all over the place for the first couple innings of this game and right now we're heading to the third the Mets are on top two to nothing they hit a couple of home runs I really should have been out in left field but I've been pulled in so many different directions and I'm not complaining it's super fun and in just a bit I'm going to get to participate in one of those in between inning on the field promotions where the objective is to catch pop-ups and then the more I catch the more reward points people in the crowd win if they have a certain app or something like that so you know I I did well with the ceremonial first pitch so hopefully I don't drop any balls on the field and after that it's off to the buffet in the club level for you wow look at you you got First pitch, you got Woo Sox hat, you got My it. third hat of the game. You got everything, you got everything. So here's what you're gonna catch. Oh, these are tough. So first one, because they're, you ready? Yeah. First one is from me. So step back a little because it's gonna come out of the slingshot. Okay. Third one comes out of a t-shirt. From one of the mascots. <laughs> You know what? I had no problem with the first two, and then I tanked it on the third one. I don't even know what happened. Bounced in and out of the glove. Those stupid squishy balls, but really the stupid thing is me. That was embarrassing, and so I'm gonna go eat my sorrows away. Oh, and it's a it's a Woo Sox rewards app, so I failed this entire stadium. But like I said, it's time to go eat. This way to the free food. <laughs> It's the way to the food, yes, sir. Yes. favorite thing to film. This is what I miss the most about going on the road. Mm. Watching you eat. We had a funeral here? What's up with that? My God, is that depressing. You might wish that you were at a funeral because I'm gonna have to ask you to film me getting dessert. <sighs> All right, I'll film your last meal. Get a shot of this sign, please. Thank you. Chocolate sauce. Is it good? It is good. I probably took too much chocolate sauce, but I have a plan for that. Mm. 
looks like the bathroom floor at the Port Authority. <laughs> yep, I've seen that happen too. <laughs> at the Port Authority. <laughs> I think it's time to hand out some baseballs. My man, you want a baseball? You want one? Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Want a baseball? Yes, please. Thank you. All right, you're welcome. Oh, can we go? Did you get a baseball? You want one? All right, there you go. All right. Cider, showing love to the fans. Can I have one more? My Here, can you sign it? Like there you. you go. You're welcome. All right, there you go. All right. We got your number four. You, go. oh, you got it. You get a ball? You want one? Yeah. There you go. Sign my own. Oh, sure. Thank you. You got it. Well, we got a righty up. We got to pay attention. I can't even see it. Wow, that was a home run and I lost it. Everybody lost it. I just said we gotta pay attention. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I, I couldn't see I couldn't see it either. Oh it landed right there. It landed right there. I'm having some troubles today, all right? Six. There you Thank go. you very much. And got a shout out, Austin, <laughs> who's been watching me and supporting me for a long time and leaving a ton of very positive comments, so. Zach is a great baseball YouTuber, and he means very well. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Tell the people, but yeah. Definitely, go Woo you. Sox. Top of the seventh inning right now. Mets are on top five to one. And I still got a few more baseballs to give away. You guys get baseballs today? I got uh, no sir. You want one? Sure. Thank you. you. Yeah, Thank sure you. thing. What's up? I met you in Camden Parks like eight years ago. Well, hello again. Yeah, hello again. So we're due for another meeting we in the year 2031. Hey, Thank good luck you. with you. It's great I appreciate to see you again. Enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you guys. It means a lot. You're very welcome. Hey, did you guys get baseballs today? Did not. You want one? You want a baseball button? What do you say? Did you get one? You want one? Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, for sure. Take it easy. One last ball. Did you get a ball today? You want one? Yeah. To go with your dessert? Yeah. It is. fun day here in Worcester. I always seem to have a great time when I visit minor league stadiums, but unfortunately for the Woo Sox, well, it was not quite as fun for them. The Mets outslugged them with three home runs and won this game by the score of six to one. But, you know, this whole experience for me was much bigger than the results on the field. And really, I owe that all to the fine folks here in the front office. Every single person that I met here today was extremely friendly. And I especially have to give a shout out to this guy right over here. This is George Lauren. Let me see if I get this right. The coordinator of marketing and fan engagement. Right? Perfect. There we go. Yes. There so we my go. man, thank you. We've been in touch actually since last year. Yes. Last winter. Last winter, you were yeah. nice enough to invite me. Yeah. So this was really great. Yeah. Stadium's amazing. Thank you, yeah. So good job to you guys, everybody who works here. Yeah, no, it was awesome having you. You know, I know you made the long drive from New York City, uh, but I was, yeah, the first pitch was amazing. You dropping the ball. Oh, you had to go there, yeah. You I, knew that was coming, come on. <laughs> come on. 
I need to do that. <laughs> no. no. But, <laughs> but anyway, yeah, you know, we're all about the fan experience here. Um, and having you here definitely is a testament of that. You know, seeing you interact with the fans from all over the place, that was awesome to see. I'm so controversial, and yet 100 out of 100 people here were chill and very happy to hang out for a bit. So. Yeah, that's awesome. And we would be a lesson. <laughs> and we would love to have you out here again. Oh, I'd love to come. We'll set something up for the future. Cool, man. Yeah. 100%. So and now, then shout out to Chris behind the camera. Finley know, Chris behind the camera. You thank you, thank you. Thank you. Know? Yes. Yeah. And Nicole as well. Nicole, yes. you know? we see you. Yeah. And so part of the ease of coming here to the stadium is that I get to combine this with a trip to Fenway. So I'll be at Red Sox games the next couple of days. They're playing Oakland. So stay tuned for those videos. And in the description for this one, well, I said I'd link to the Beloit video. I'll throw a link there also to my entire minor league playlist. Check it out. Lots of fun stuff. Yeah. So again, thank you, my man. Thank you. We'll for be in me. touch. Go Woo Sox. And yeah. thank you guys, as always, for watching.